My brother-in-law keeps making fun of me and says I look like a girl, so I got dressed up as a prank, now my sister is saying I ruined her marriage. To put it bluntly, I, 20M, look like a girl, definitely a flat-chested one, but still. I guess I'm just unlucky in the genetics department. Most people think I'm just a tomboy, but it gets a bit annoying when people mistake me for a girl. I'm pretty comfortable with myself now, but I used to get bullied a lot for it and I can be a bit sensitive about it. My older sister, 26F, doesn't stop her husband, 30M, from making fun of me and is always doing it. I've told him to stop, but he never does and says it's all just jokes. I've gotten sick of it and wanted to get back at him instead of being my usual timid self, so I went out of my way to get some friends and my younger sister, 20F, to give me a makeover a little before they were to come over. Basically, make me look as girly as possible. They did a pretty good job, and it turns out that if I'm all made up, I look a lot like a younger version of my older sister. When they came over, I made sure to act as girly as possible. He was visibly very uncomfortable, so I knew I was definitely winning this one. They left very early, and I got a text from my sister calling me a prick for making her husband uncomfortable. She told a few family members, and most are on my side, but a few think what I did was childish and wrong. Edit. I got a text from my sister that I'm a giant piece of crap and ruining her marriage. I don't think I will be seeing them anytime soon, but just in case, I'm going to try and have a proper conversation with my parents about everything and see if we can keep them out of the house for a while. Since I only pay rent to live with them, I don't really get a say, but I hope my parents can support me. Update 1. It's been a wild couple of days. I had a sit down with my parents and had a big talk about my feelings. They agreed that my sister's husband wouldn't be welcome in the house anymore. The only reason they didn't do or say anything about it is because they thought it didn't bother me and knew I'm a tough cookie. They apologized for that and said they would speak out more in the future if anything like this happens again. My older sister had been texting me a lot, calling me all sorts of names, saying I'm ruining her marriage. She also visited yesterday, and as soon as she came into the house, she started screaming at me, and things got heated. So my parents also banned her from coming over until she can apologize for her behavior and for letting her husband continue to make me uncomfortable. On a more positive note, I've been exploring myself a lot these past couple of days with my twin sister. She told me not to call her my younger sister, but I'm 4 or 5 hours older than her, so I'll always call her my younger sister, lol. Update 2. My brother-in-law came to the house yesterday, and clearly he had been drinking. He was mumbling things about how I ruined his marriage, calling me names and other BS. He went to the side of the house and entered through the back door that we never lock, and terrifyingly, he came after me and tried to push my head towards his manhood, and when that didn't work, he tried pulling my pants down and pushing me to the ground. Thankfully, my sister was there to pull him off and threaten him with a kitchen knife. He left right away, and we called the police and my parents who were out at the time. My parents came straight away, but police didn't show up till two hours later to basically just say they can't do anything and that if we want we can go to the courthouse for a restraining order. My parents tried calling and texting my sister to tell her what happened and to find out why he did what he did, but all she texted back was to f off. I'm very shaken up right now, but I'm not going to let it get to me. Update 3. My brother-in-law came to my house again to supposedly apologize, but luckily, I wasn't there, and my dad chased him off while calling the police. This time, they actually came at an appropriate time, but there was nothing they could do except advise my parents and me to get a restraining order, so that's what I did. Right now, I only have a restraining order that lasts about 20 days, but if he doesn't show up to court in those days, I'll get a more permanent one. Other than that, everything has been quiet, and we haven't heard from my older sister or her husband since. We do know she's safe since she's been trash-talking the family to friends and other extended family. I've been mainly staying in, feeling depressed but doing okay-ish, seeing a therapist, been diagnosed with depression, and I've been put on medication. I honestly thought I was fine for those days after my brother-in-law tried that, but it got to me more than I thought. My other sisters have really been helping me not feel alone, even if it's just us watching Netflix in silence on opposite ends of the couch. It makes me feel safer. Update 4. Hey everyone, it's been a while. My dad had a heart attack and passed away about 7 months ago. I just had to watch my dad suffer while I couldn't do anything but cry with my sisters while our mother called an ambulance. I miss him so badly. I'm still grieving but doing a bit better after seeing a therapist and psychologist. As for my older sister, the last we heard from her was after dad passed away, and all she was interested in was the inheritance. She cursed our mother out when realizing that he left nothing to her, and everything went to our mother. Since then, we haven't heard from her or seen her. What we do know is that she and her husband moved across the country to live with his extended family, so good riddance. On a side note, I got some testing and screening done, and I think I've got some kind of androgen deficiency, maybe that's why I always looked kind of feminine, lol.